Back here at home, UAB held a press conference to address the new coronavirus variant. WVUA 23's Maria Grigno joins us live from the newsroom to explain what we know about the variant. Maria? Tamika, the Omicron variant of COVID-19 was identified this weekend in South Africa. It is the fifth COVID variant, according to the World Health Organization. The COVID-19 Omicron variant has spread to at least 11 countries on four continents. None of these cases have been identified in the U.S. Director of the UAB Division of Infectious Diseases, Dr. Jean Marazzo, says countries which lack vaccinations are more likely to suffer from new variants. When you have places where vaccination coverage is so low, they are fantastic setups for exactly this type of mutation to happen. And that's what we've been saying all along. Marazzo also says COVID-19 tests in the U.S. do not detect which variant a person is infected with, which means the Omicron variant might already be in the U.S. The Omicron variant has not had severe effects like the Delta variant. They have not seen an increase in hospitalizations and deaths in association with that increase in cases in South Africa. So maybe that means, and again, this is all conjecture at this point, maybe that means um, that it's not going to hit us as hard as the early stages of Delta did. Marazzo still advises everyone to get the current vaccines and booster shots. I think even if the Omicron is evading some of the current vaccines, it's still going to be advantageous to have had that booster shot because you're going to have more antibody and you're going to have more different types of antibodies. She says vaccine companies are currently working on new versions of the vaccine, which will better combat variants. If it turns out that the current vaccines won't do the trick, um, the vaccine manufacturers will very likely need to create a whole new vaccine. The new vaccines would possibly be available in early 2022. For now, she says everyone should continue to take the precautions recommended for other COVID-19 variants. In the meantime, you know, all we can say is to be cautious, continue to get vaccinated. If you haven't been, get your booster shot if you haven't had it. And for now, wear a mask. Marazzo says scientists around the world are running tests on this variant to see if current vaccines will protect against it. She says she believes that results from these studies will be available in the next 8 to 10 days. Live in the newsroom, Maria Grenio, WVUA 23 News.